don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description so let's take a look at applying the correct or perceived correct uh, on delete option within our models based upon our scenario okay so so far in the models that we have been building we have blanketed our foreign keys with just model.cascade so let's think about what we want to do when the parent in the relationship is deleted do we want to also delete the children in that relationship so in this case the category so if we delete the root category do we want the parent categories to exist now this is a scenario where i would be inclined to start safe so i'm going to start safe by defining protect so remember as the documentation tells us this is going to prevent deletion of reference objects and it's going to raise an error so i think in the instance of category i think that's a good um a good option at this point i want to pre prevent any categories from being deleted if they have any parent um, subcategories so let's move on to the product table right so in the product table i have a link or a foreign key over to category so if i were to delete a category do i want all my products that are associated to that category being deleted the answer to that is no so cascade probably isn't the best option here now i'm asking myself at this point what might be the best option again that will be dependent upon the requirements of your system or your general requirements as you believe or seem fit within your application now i'm going to go for in this case i'm going to use set null okay so what that means is so i'm going to use set null so if I do delete a category, it just means the products won't be associated to that category, but the products will still remain. And I can go ahead and then assign them to a different category. It might be more appropriate in some situations to use, for example, set default. So you can set up a default category. So that might be a category called no category so that you can then filter out all the products that have been set to no category. So I'm going to choose uh, set to set to no. So set uh, no. Now, because I'm defining the fact that I want to set no, I will also need to, if we remember, define the fact that no is possible for this particular field because by default the foreign key cannot be set to no. So there has to be something included. So I can set that to uh, no equals true. And therefore that will allow me the ability to set to no should any category be deleted which is connected to any products i'm going to set the seasonal event in a very similar way so we're going to use the on delete set no and no true because there's probably going to be quite a few no fields anyway because not many products are going to be associated to seasonal events so that's going to be set in a similar way so should we delete a seasonal event it's not going to affect any of the products so the product line this is a tricky one do i want to keep the product lines if i delete the product now the likelihood is if i am actually deleting a product i probably do want to delete the product line but there'll be plenty of reasons why i don't want to delete products in the first place because maybe i want to keep that kind of historical um, data for some particular reason so i'm going to probably just go for a protect in this case so I'm going to protect to make sure that if I do delete a product, that all the product lines will need to be dealt with first, either backed up or deleted. The last foreign key being the foreign key here in the product image. If I delete a product line, then the likelihood is that I also want all the images deleted. So I'm going to stick with cascade in this option. So when I delete a product line, I do want all the images to be deleted too. That seems like a good idea. Now, if you're not too sure about on delete, then I always recommend you use protect because that's going to ensure that you won't delete 
the data. And as and when you start developing your application, maybe become more familiarized with the data that you're working with, that's when you can start to think about different options to really tailor it to your specific needs.